Hello friends, let's do a practical scenario of the fast fill update in the record trigger flow. So, suppose whenever a new opportunity is created, I want to update the value of a field called delivery installation status to in progress or to incomplete it whenever the stage of the opportunity is closed on. So what flow we will use for this? What do you think? It should be record trigger flow because whenever this record is created, I want a value of a particular field to update based on the value of another field of the same record. So as you know, record trigger flow are also of two types. One is the before, before save, another is after save. Before save is also called fast fill update. So we'll, we will use fast fill update because before the save button is pressed, before the record is saved, we should update the value. Okay. So let's achieve this functionality. Let's create a new flow. Let's navigate to the flows. Clean on a new flow. Selecting record trigger flow. Now let's specify the object and the entry conditions. Our object is opportunity. Okay. And when we should fire this trigger? Whenever a new opportunity is created. So our record is created. We should use this. And what is the entry condition? Entry condition is the stage field should have the value as closed one. So let's give the entry condition as what is the field name? This stage. What is the value we want? We want is close one. Now you can see the two types. One is fast fill updates and other is actions and related records. I have told you in the previous video, which was the introduction to record record flows, that what is the difference? Okay. So let me tell you once again in brief, we will use fast fill updates whenever we want to update a particular field of a record of the same record. That means before save, before the record is saved, I want to trigger this flow. Then we will use this. And whenever I want to do something like I want to send an email to a particular user, whenever a record is created, then we will use this. Or I want to create a related record. Whenever a record is created, then we will use actions and related records. So we will use fast fields updates in this case, as I was told. So now what we need to do? Object is successfully selected. Trigger is also fine. We have a condition that not for all, all opportunities it will fire. It will fire only when the stage is closed one. Okay. Then we will use assignment. We will create assignment that delivery installation status field value should change to completed. So let's name the assignment as change field value. Change opportunity field value. You can also write in description to get more in depth for the end user. So field name is delivery installation status. Now what we will do right here? What is a variable? What is this record? This record is a global variable which is storing all the field values of the record which is triggering the flow. So if we click this, you will get all the fields of that particular record which is triggering this flow. And what field we need? We need a field called delivery status. So let's go to that. This is the one. And I want its value to be completed. So whenever that uh, upper conditions of the flow are satisfied, then this field value should be updated to complete it for that particular record only. Okay. Clicking on done. So that's it. It's so simple. Clicking on save. Let's name our flow as fast field update trigger. This is the auto launch flow. As you have already know, I think that record trigger flow is a type of auto launch flow. Okay. So let's activate this flow and see whether it's working fine. Also, you can debug and run as well. So let me see directly here. Let's name the opportunity as test one, close it as something 
and any other military field we are missing no okay no let's name the stage as close one what will you expect you will expect the delivery stage status to change as soon as we click the save button and we will go to the record okay let's see whether it's done okay you see it's done automatically that's so simple this was all about this okay so in the next video i will show you the other thing the other scenario of the record trigger flow which is actions and related records i will show you how to send an email whenever a record trigger flow is fired also i will tell you how to use a email template or whether we should use a email template or we should directly hard code the value of the subject and body of the email we will see that as well also you can follow me on linkedin okay and let me navigate you to the salesforce playlist as well salesforce flows playlist to be particular okay you can save this playlist it will be getting updated very soon